Yeah, this is gonna be tough. He's gotta be an A, doesn't he? G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to do a tier maker. So I'm gonna make one on key forwards of the AFL in 2021. I believe True Footy's done this video before. Um, so shout outs to the great man, True Footy, uh, Jesse and the boys. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, here we go. We are ranking key forwards. There's about 30 of them here. What is the criteria for my ranking? I might do it on potential, but then again, I might do it on current form. You guys are gonna complain in the comments and that's fair enough. But anyway, let's get into the video. All right, what are we gonna start with? I'm gonna start with Tomahawk. I'm gonna put him in the A. I don't think he's realized full potential until probably last year, won the Coleman, and he's been in really good form since. So it's quite crazy that it took him till about 30, 31 to really turn it on the Tomahawk, but I enjoy watching him play his footy now. Uh, so Tomahawk can go in the A category. Josh Kennedy, he's gotta be an A, doesn't he? Really consistent key forward, couple of Coleman's, and uh, yeah, Kennedy's in the A. Tex Walker, on current form, on current form, he's a Chief Dunstall. This is where it gets really, really tight between A to C, but I'm going to put the Texan in the B. I don't think I should have had Chief Dunstall up the top, uh, cause that's, that's a great key forward, but you know what, I'm gonna put Tommy and JK up there. Texan is in the A category, obviously in career best form at the moment, which is unbelievable. And I think we're all happy for him. I think we're all happy for the Texan. Uh, he's a good man, great man, and um, he can go on the A. Geez, there's a lot here. This could be a 45 minute video. Oh, Charlie Dixon, he's an A as well. Long time coming for Charlie. I think he's about 30, probably in a similar boat to Tommy Hawkins, but turning it on and is, well, has become one of the great key forwards of the comp, which we love to see. Kale Hooker, all Australian defender, and can kick a snag or two, Hooksy. But I will put him in the B category. I don't wanna give massive explanations for every person, because we have gotta get through them. But Kale Hooker for mine in the B, potentially C, but I think B's, B's appropriate. Right, Joey Danaher. Oh man, this is gonna be tough if I put, <laughs> He is an All-Australian, I suppose. This is tough. I want to put him in the B. I'll put him in the A for now and we might reshuffle. Joe Danaher can go in the A. His year and a half where he turned it on was unbelievable. So I'll put Joey in the A and we'll see what happens later. Levi Casbolt. I don't want to offend anyone, but the man can't kick. Now, I love Levi's pack marks. I think he was nominated for Mark of the Year one year against the Pies. Massive pack mark. Great clunk. I love watching Levi Casbolt mark. I don't like watching him kick. I'm gonna put him in Kent Kingsley. Obviously, he's just at the bottom of a really good bunch of forwards. So, you know, I'm not trying to shit on uh, Levi too much, but I'm gonna put him down the bottom. All right, who else do we have? The big Cox, the big Coxzilla. Controversial. I reckon he's C. I reckon he's all right. Potentially B, but I think your Kale hookers are a bit better than Cox. I'm not a Mason Cox hater. I'm actually a Mason Cox enthusiast, if I'm gonna be honest. I find him very entertaining, but I've chucked him in the C, and I think that's fair. Eric Thiel, on potential. Jeez, he'd be up here. Uh, hasn't quite had the break yet. Yeah, has he? Do you guys reckon? But he's not bad, he's quite serviceable. So I'm gonna put him B, but when he has that year, he could go to A, and definitely up to Chief Dunstall status. <laughs> Brody Majacek, he's a different forward to the Eel. I'll put him in B. Brody Majacek can go in B, really consistent. I love his hands but I'm gonna put my check in the B category. Let's get through these because we don't want this being an hour long video. Jeremy Finlayson, B. He's actually quite handy, Finlayson. I love the Giants forward. You know, they got Riccardi, Finlayson, they got Himmelberg, did have Cameron and now Jesse Hogan. So plenty of depth down there, but the big Finlayso, he's going in the B. Sam Reed, B Reed is what we'll name him. Played second fiddle for a lot of years, but really good clubman. So Sam Reed's in the Bs. Oscar Allen, wow, he's got massive potential. And you know what? Once again, I make this up as I go. Not only on potential, I'm already gonna put him in the A category. He's going to be a star, and putting him in the A this early won't let me down. Jack Darling, I'm reluctant to put this bloke up where I'm gonna put him. He can't go in with Tomahawk and JK. He's going in A as well, and that might sound a bit weird that Darling and Oscar Allen are in the same category, but in my head, it makes sense. I think anyone would have Jack Darling in their team. So uh, Jack Darling is in the A category. Suvalaki, one of my favorites. I think he should be B. I'm gonna put him B. Nick Larky, Nick Suvalaki in the B. Him and Oscar Allen, probably my two favorite key forwards coming through, oh, and the Kings. Um, love them, love them to bits. And I love the big Suva, and I'm expecting some big things from the Suva. He'll, he'll bounce up the order. 
in a few years in no time, but I'm putting him in the B category. Tommy Lynch. Geez, it'd be weird to put Lynch B, but have Oscar Allen and Joe Danaher in the A. I think if I'm going to be serious, I'm probably going to put him up in the A. Harry Himmelberg. B. He's good. He's good, Himmelberg. I would have him every day of the week. But just for now, I think he's a B. Tim O'Brien. Has Tim O'Brien been better than Levi Casbolt? I don't think he has. I don't think he has. He almost took mark of the year the other year, and I love a big, specking key forward. Probably in that bottom category, but I love him, and I'm keen to see him uh, rise up the ranks. Mackay. Jeez, if Oscar Allen is in the A's, Harry. Harry, you're in the A, big fella. You're a st nah, you're, all right, you're in the B's. You're in the B's. And I'm going to drop... No, you're in the A's. You're in the A's. <laughs> you're in the A's, H. Don't stress, mate. Nearly put you in the B's, but no. Harry is going to be a gun. Will be a gun. That's a lock, so I'm putting him in there. All right, only a few to go. Tim Membry. Tim Membry is a B, but he's been in good form this year. His hands have looked as good as they've ever looked. Tim Membry is a serviceable, serviceable footballer. Jeremy Cameron. Let's not be silly. He's, he's up there. He's up there with the best in the league. And it's just crazy that the Cats have, you know, two of the three best in my eyes. <laughs> Big Boner Brown is an A forward. Over the last four years, Jeremy Cameron, who is the best forward in the comp, has only kicked four more goals than him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable effort from Ben Brown. But yeah, Benny Brown is an A forward. Let's go T-Mac. Tom McDonald is a C grade forward. Has he had a better career than Tim O'Brien? I think so. Has he had a better career than Levi Casbo? I think he probably has. I think it's a bit of a shame he's in the Mason Cox category, but two blokes that hustle hard, provide a contest, but can sometimes make a few errors. So he's had a couple of maligned years, the big T-bone, so he's in the C category. Daniel McStay. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I think McStay is a C selection. What would you guys put McStay? I love his hands. Got great jukes, Daniel McStay. I'm gonna put him down the bottom. Uh, it might be a little bit stiff, but that's where I've just seen. Maybe I haven't seen enough of Daniel McStay in my head. Daniel McStay's down the bottom. All right, we're down the pointy end. Aaron Norton, B, the best mitts in the comp, isn't the most accurate kick. He was in ripping form a couple of years ago, Aaron Norton, and I think the doggies forward line is going to be a threat and a half, but I, he's not quite there yet, Aaron Norton, so I've put him in the B category. Matty Tabernar, B, straight into the B category. Hustler, he's a battler. Um... And that's where I think it's most appropriate. Josh Bruce. Now, I'm so sorry. I know he kicked 10. <laughs> don't hate me. Because I don't, you know, I've got nothing wrong with Joshy Bruce. But is Josh Bruce not a C-grade forward? He's definitely better than T-Mac and Coxie, though. Oh, no. No, B. He's B. Joshy Bruce is a B. Yeah, he's been, he's been too inconsistent for too long to, you know, be an A. Jack Gunston, A. Jack Gunston is a gun. But yeah, Jack Gunston, as consistent as it gets. Um, yeah, in the A category. Josh Battle. Is Josh Battle better than Mason Cox or Tom McDonald? Yeah, it probably is. He probably is. Anyway, Battle's in the B. Jack Rewalt. Probably up there. Probably up there, if we're going to be honest. Two or three commons. You know, some people who hate Jack will be like, why is he up there in those, you know, in that category? But I think he's up there. I think Jack Rewalt has been a great footballer for a long time. And I don't know what I'm basing this off, whether it's career or how hot they are right now, but uh, whatever I've decided, he's gone up there. He's up the top. All right, the two kings. They're both Bs, aren't they? But they're going to be freaks. They're going to be freaks. So both the kings are in the B category. And I think most people would agree with that. All right, guys, here is my list of key forwards of 2021. I think it's pretty fair. I think there's not much that I would change. Pretty content with it all. A lot of players in the Bs. I think they could probably go up or down. And content with my bottom as well. All right, guys, that is it for my video of me ranking key forwards of the AFL in 2021. Let me know if I had some howlers. I probably did. I know nothing about the sport. So let me know if I got any wrong. Would love to hear your feedback in the comments down below. And once again, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone watching. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.